the next part of my router build um the pulleys actually came in from hong kong a lot faster than i thought they were going to come in the uh, sent them air mail from amazon so that was a good thing so i got the z drive all hooked up now in the meantime while i was waiting i made a um, clear plastic dust guard to go around the motor on the router motor on the bottom and I just kind of wrapped it with some old um, the filter bag from a dust collector and then I got a long shop vac hose that just kind of goes around and winds back to a shop vac. I was going to hook it to my dust collector but it turns out that it does not get enough velocity to do a good job on the dust collector so I have to use the um, shop vac right now so I'm about ready to run my first job now. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a uh, piece of wood here. I put some double-sided tape on it because I haven't put any hold downs in there yet. So I'm just going to locate that on the table at the zero zero position and press it in place. And I'm hoping that the tape will be good enough to hold it for this first job. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send everything to home to uh, zero out the machine. So everything is starting to go back to zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're at zero, zero, zero on the machine now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zero the top of my material now. Okay, that's set. All right, now I'm just going to hit the start cycle button. And
Okay, there you have it, my first sign. It um, actually came out pretty good. I could probably mess with the speeds and feeds a little bit and take a little more aggressive cuts instead of so many passes. But it looks like it's going to work out. Finally, everything's up and running. Now it's time to make some Christmas presents. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.